sedated 78 year old man with uh, renal failure and uh, hepatic and encephalopathy is that about right Good, all right so a guy like this with a, an oxygen no let, let him in he's the chief of staff all right i'm dr simon martingale natalie tell me what happened one of karen's patients he uh he strangled oh my god who? Uh, Beloit, Ben Beloit. I believe you used that oxygen tube? Okay, why? Who knows? Sometimes terminal patients get angry, disoriented. Well, oh, did he have any family, friends, anybody could have helped him with this? Because this just... It's very unlikely these patients are indigent for the most part. Most of the patients on this floor of, I hate the expression, charity cases. I don't hear anything. It's getting harder to ventilate. Pulse is 200. We can throw you. This guy's going to crump. Chest x-ray? No, there's no time. Give me a needle. What size? A big one. Hurry! What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to save this man's life. He's got a tension pneumo. You x-ray? There wasn't time. Oh, my God. It's Beloit. Page Dr. Farrell now. I hope you're right, doctor. Come on, hit him. Nice call. Chest tube tray. PP50 palpable. I'll do the chest tube, you do the central line. Uh, you have any ER experience? Uh, long rotation. I'm a first year resident. I'm usually up on 12. Internal jugular runs under here. You find the posterior border for the sternocleidomastoid, going two finger breaths above the clavicle. Yes. Aim for the sternal notch. Move your butt, doctor. Yes. Yeah. Number 15 blade in the Kelly clamp. Quick. Mm. Bingo. Now you hand this to me when I need it. Take it. I got it. Half the world is looking for this guy. Why? Killed the doctor up on seven. Yeah. Who? Uh, Karen Steinbrook. Oh, hey, you okay? Wait a minute, get back here. Berlin Eddie, fall in. saving his life. Chrissy. Now, what kind of a maniac would do that? Strangle her. Why didn't anybody hear? We were the damn nurses, for God's sake. I was the only one on duty. If I had just... Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. Mel, who was this Beloit? Why would he kill Karen? I don't know. I've only been on seven west a week. All the patients are totally gorked out. I never thought they were dangerous, though. I gotta get out of here. Are you gonna be okay? Call me later, okay? Yeah. Okay. Housekeeping to four west. Housekeeping to four west. Oh, excuse me, Dr. Uh... Kesselman. Fine. Dr. Kesselman. Where is he? He's still on the table. They're closing now. Who's working on it? Oh. Now you wanna talk, huh? Now you've got a little time. Hey, I asked you a simple question. How about an answer? Well, I've got a simple question too, doctor. How the hell did you walk away from a critical patient in ER? 
Nice talking to you. Karen Steinbrook was a very close friend of mine. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't know. Look, we'll both be. Why don't, why don't we just go sit down over here? You know, What's when you took off... Sorry. No, I'm sorry. What's the prognosis? Well, he's stable for now, but a guy that old with major trauma. And... Listen, I didn't know Dr. Steinbrook, but people around here really, uh, really respected her. I'm sorry. Lipton. Yes. How is it? Better than I expected, in spite of your negligence. Dr. Farrell, I was only trying to... To what? To ignore all proper ER protocol? Than to abandon a critical patient? Under the circumstances, Doctor, I had no choice. Did you or did you not abandon Mr. Beloit in ER? No. Dr. Kesselman was Actually, right Actually, she did some pretty exceptional work down there. Dr. Martingale, if it wasn't for her, Beloit wouldn't even be alive right now. I see. Well, it's been a tough evening on all of us. We lost a very dear friend. Christine, maybe you should get some rest and we'll talk about this tomorrow. X-ray technician, call the emergency. Review is in six weeks. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Not so much for a dubiously promising career as a doctor. I don't know, maybe this is some kind of sign. Maybe I should have just stayed a nurse. No, you made a mistake and you'll live through it. How about if I buy a cup of coffee? Okay, then why don't you let me drive you home? Rough, isn't it? I mean, doing a first year res. Uh, this is my last year. I just transferred to Mid City to do my Doma residency. So tell me, how tough was it exchanging your nurse's cap for a stethoscope? Mm, it was really tough in the beginning. A lot of people were betting against me, even some of the nurses. <laughs> I almost dropped out once. Really? Yeah, right before the first part of my boards. Then Karen stayed up with me all night, drilling me, holding my hand. I wouldn't have passed without her. She was a geneticist, wasn't she? Best in the business. Boy, when I was working on him, he said something like Crater 38. Well, what's that mean? Did you see his eyes? They were so clear, they were like a kid's. And his palate, he had a, he had a small surgical scar on it. <laughs> I was, I was elbow deep in blood, I, I didn't notice. Look, this Alapero doll probably wore off and he just flipped out and well, Steinbrook was in the Wrong place at the wrong time. Hey, why don't you try and get some rest? Good night. Thanks for sticking up for me. You probably saved my butt. Well. Afraid didn't mean a thing to her. <clears throat> no, I'm sure she doesn't know anything. Look, I'm telling you, she just stumbled into it, and it's over as far as she's concerned. Okay, she'll never know. Right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.
check again, please. His name is Beloit. Ben Beloit. Doctor, I told you I've been on since midnight, and the only ICU admission was an MI. Check post off. I did. And I don't know what to tell you. Try 7 West. Where are his charts? I haven't seen them since yesterday. Well, who asked for them? Where were they sent? I don't know. I wasn't on duty. Come on, buddy. Hill time. There we go. Don't you go giving me no hard time, all right? Come on. Someone has got to know where Mr. Beloit is. Well, if you ask me, we never should have done anything for him in the first place. Say the taxpayer's a lot of money. <coughs> you try the jail ward on nine? Yes, he wasn't admitted. Well, try the morgue. The morgue. It's in the basement. Thank you. I know where the morgue is. Well, we're probably looking at Addison's, possibly even hemochromatosis. Ah, this is Cohen. Caucasian woman, age 63. Echocardiogram confirms acute mitral stenosis. Have a listen if you've never heard it before. It's kind of neat. And please try to keep in mind, Doctor, that morning report is 6.45, Grand Rounds, Thursday at 7 sharp. Okay, Rounds, Doctors, let's move uh -huh. on. Oversleep, Doctor? Sorry. Listen, about Ben Hill. Look, last night was bad for all of us. Let's forget it, okay? Thanks, but the truth is I was looking for him all day and I, I can't find him anywhere. Obviously, no one's told you. Ben Beloit arrested in post-op. He never regained consciousness. Well, I checked pathology. I checked the morgue. Ben was an indigent patient. He was taken directly to county morgue. And, and by the way, Dr. Martingale would like to talk to you, Christine. Now? No, no, no. Why, why don't you drop by his office after six? Okay? Okay. It shouldn't be much longer. Okay, thanks. Good night. Good night. Okay, see you tomorrow, and uh, work.